Good morning, everybody. It is Ashley Fields with Yarder Us. And yesterday I came on and we did uh, the Buffalo plaid on our Merry Christmas truck. And so today we are just gonna finish it out with uh, our Mylar Merry Christmas stencil and a little bit of highlights. So before I get started, I am gonna go ahead and Windex everything. Uh, we use the Windex simply because it has a lot of um, impurities on here, dust, pollen, dirt, that sort of thing. And it can cause our paint to spread out. And we don't like that look. So I'm gonna Windex it right quick. As you're hopping on, say hello. I don't have my iPad with me today, so that's always really helpful with comments. And it's dead right now. So I only have my phone for comments. So if I'm not responding very quickly, you guys, I'll obviously check it after we get done. Okay. So, hey, Martina, how are you doing, hun? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all, uh, my mother-in-law and uh, my husband's aunt were on yesterday. Ask me why I'm so bundled up because they live in Indiana. But it is 55 degrees in my shop this morning. So it is nice and chilly out here, but I'm glad you're able to come and hang out with me for a few. Okay, y'all, I got that camera flipped around because we're about to do a stencil. As I told you guys yesterday, we sell this blank and the blank already has Merry Christmas words on it. But this is a full-size truck that I actually sell, uh, I paint and sell. And so mine doesn't have the words. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a Mylar stencil. Alrighty. This is Mylar, it's reusable, it's not sticky in any way. It's completely uh, smooth on both sides, all right? So I'm just gonna set my stencil down. I am gonna turn it around so that it's facing me so I can get that stencil placed in the correct spot. Um, again, those of you who purchase a blank from us, you don't have to worry about a stencil. Um, this is simply because the larger blank, or I mean the larger pieces that I do, uh, Typically, I do engrave the words, but on this one, I don't because red is that base. And if I were to go and paint in my words and then try to cover over that with red, it doesn't have good coverage. So this is one of the only patterns that I actually use a stencil on. Most things I don't, most things I have them engraved into my pieces, but today we're doing stencil. So, hey, Jessica, how are you, hon? Good to see you, thank you for coming in. Hey, Carla. All right, y'all, I got my stencil lined up. So. I actually want to show you all this. Anybody who does use a Mylar stencil, I've already drawn kind of the pattern on here of exactly where I need to line up my stencil at. So uh, that just kind of helps me to make sure that I've got it set where I need it set. Okay, now my stencil's ready. It will move around if I do not hold it down. It is not sticky at all. So let me go ahead and get, I'm gonna use a four inch roller Got a lot of paint over here in this um, opening. There we go. Let me get my roller out. I just keep my rollers in bags, and then when I'm ready to get it out, I just take the handle and hit it in there. Ta-da! Clean hands, y'all. Move that bag out of the way. I just need to get a little bit of white paint. I'm trying to see. I got so many paint bottles over here. All right, so anytime you're using a Mylar stencil, that one's not gonna work, uh, you want to be very cautious and go very slow and not bear down any weight on your stencil. Uh, because if I were to bear down on it, the paint's gonna go underneath the stencil and it's gonna create blobs underneath there. And after I did all the work on my Buffalo plaid, this could really be the part that ruins it, okay? So we wanna take it a little slow. So my stencil's still set exactly where I want it. I'm gonna use my hand and kind of hold the stencil down and I'm gonna start gliding over top of this. Y'all, I have a ton of paint in my roller. So I, I loaded it up really well and I'm very, very gently gliding over top of it. Now, because this is the first time I'm using this stencil today and I'm only gonna use it once, it does take quite a bit of paint to get it covered. Now, any other time when I'm painting these, y'all, I do 10 or 12 at a time. And so once I get all this paint on my stencil, I really just take it, pick it up and move to the next piece. And I don't have to use as much paint, you know, as I continue to work with the stencil. 
but I'm only doing one today, so I've got to get quite a bit of paint on this stencil um, in order for it to come out the way I'm wanting it to. Um, another thing about Mylar stencils, why you guys don't really see us use them a lot, is there is going to be uh, a little bit of bleeding underneath, meaning that it's not going to be crisp, clean lines. If you are using a stencil like my mom showed yesterday, she showed you the destructible vinyl. It's sticky, it goes down sticky, and then you pull it up. Your letters are a lot more crisp and clean um, with those types of stencils. These don't give you that same crisp and cleanness. So this is honestly how we did it years ago, but we have uh, really switched it to doing the engraved pieces and doing the, um, the vinyl stenciling as well. So, all right. I'm trying to make sure I got that white paint everywhere inside of my stencil. I think I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna move this over. Actually, let me put this up before it gets dried out right quick goes right back into my bag, grab the outside, pull your handle out. Okay. Now, this stencil is done for today or for right now. So when I lift it up, I have to go on both sides. It's kind of hard to show you guys um, the full size, but I'm gonna grab one end and grab the other opposite and lift up very slow. If I lift too fast, paint will start splattering everywhere. Give me a second, y'all. Let me turn it around. I'll give you guys a better look. Okay. Now, I do happen to have a five-gallon bucket right here of hot water to clean my stencil because it immediately has to get cleaned um, or all that paint's going to dry on here. So, my sink is on the whole other side of my workshop. So, I went ahead and filled up a five-gallon bucket with some hot water to get this clean. So... Me just one second I don't want to ruin my stencil stencils are very very expensive um, I can't recall the price of this one I want to say it's like $80 for the stencil uh, now it's reusable and I've probably made 70 trees with this stencil over the years so it's expensive to buy at first but if you use them a lot totally worth it for those of you that you know might paint your own yard art to sell you do it as a business or maybe you're doing paint parties or anything like that um, stencils are always an option. So, give me one second. I got to finish kind of cleaning it off. All right. Let me turn it upside down one more time. Okay. I think I'm good. I'm going to leave that in there and then when we get done, I'll take it out and clean it out completely. Hey, Amy, Mackenzie. Good to see you guys. Hey, Melissa. Uh, Melissa says, is there a template for this one? Yes, Melissa, there is. We have a, or no, actually, it's not a template. We have a blank. Um, we don't have a template. But the blank does have the words Merry Christmas etched onto there. So you guys don't have to worry about stenciling. Uh, you know, this is just that big piece that I'm using. It's the same as the blank, just a bigger version. And so um, I actually do a Mylar stencil on it. So. Now, I don't know that you guys can see this too good. Let me get it up close because I want you to see. Do you see how those letters, they're not perfect. You know, they're kind of wobbly and, um, you know, not nice, crisp, clean lines. So this is when I actually come in with my script liner and I start to clean it up. Good morning, Debbie. Great to see you. I'm so glad you're here, hon. Okay, y'all, this is just white paint. Same white paint I just used on uh, my stencil. This does have a little bit of water added to it. And basically what I'm gonna do is just clean up these stencil lines. I know from a distance, they probably look okay. Uh, but up close, they are very much kind of um, wobbly lines. You've got a little bit of bleeding that came in from underneath that stencil. And I just used my brush to kind of come in clean those lines up a little bit. Again, ladies, you guys don't have to worry about this. You will have to paint the words Merry Christmas on, but you don't have to worry about the Mylar stencil. As soon as I get done kind of cleaning this up, I'll pull it back up to the camera and then you can see the difference between uh, me coming in and cleaning this up from the 
the beginning of it to the end of it. It'll make a big difference. So I'm actually kind of making those lines a little bit thicker and maybe even a little bit wider. And that's only because I have to kind of match the width of whatever that white paint already is. So if I have a spot that kind of came out a little bit further, I'm gonna to have to make my line a little bit wider. So, hey Selma, hey Shirley, hope y'all are doing good. I am, uh, I just showed how to do a Mylar stencil. And at this moment, I'm just cleaning up that stencil. Because this is honestly the very last thing I'm doing to this piece, I kind of really want to, you know, take a little bit more time and just make sure that I have some really beautiful, crisp, clean lines on here. Okay, I'm going to turn it a little bit. Let's see, there we go. This Y always seems to be a letter that gets a little bit funky. And this is also, guys, yesterday, uh, I know the, the window looks white to you guys, but I actually did um, a little bit of gray shading on here that kind of gives it the look, more of a look of a window. And so hopefully I can get the lighting to work here a little bit when I pick this up. And you'll see the gray on the window and how the white kind of comes into that. It's very, very pretty. My sincerest apologies, y'all. It's hard to, for me sometimes to really focus on this because this does take a little bit of focus. Um, so I, I'm not as good at looking at the comments and paying attention to comments as I'm working sometimes. So this is kind of one of those instances. If there's anything that I miss, I will come back afterwards and uh, answer any questions. Now, while I'm here at the top of my truck, I'm going to take uh, my script liner and just do a couple uh, highlights on here. Okay, just a few, not much. I really don't want to do too much. I don't want to take away from all the work that I've put into this truck. So I'm kind of keeping those um, highlights. Uh, uh, just a few on here. You know, we don't want too much, okay? So, give it one right here. I'm going to give it one right here, okay? Let's see. All right. Now, I'm going to, all I have left to do is the word Christ right here. I did the end of Christmas, so I just got Christ left. Hey, can you do me a favor and get this stencil and wash it in that sink for me? I washed most of it, but just in case there's any remnants left. Thank you. All right, let's see. Almost there. I also noticed uh, yesterday, whenever I was painting this, we had some questions about whether I was using blue or not. I was using black, but the formula on the black is kind of weird. So I know in the video, it kind of had a blue tint to it, but as you can see now that it's dry, it's completely black. A lot of times when our paint goes on and it's wet, you're gonna kind of see a different color than what you're gonna see by the time it dries. My letters are clean, so now it's just a matter of finishing out a little bit of highlights on here. Do a little bit on my, my wheels, okay? I'm gonna do some on the base. I'm good, I'm done with it. All right, go over here, get 
this wheel. Make sure I stay in frame for everybody. And that is finished, y'all. Let me put this brush up and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Let's see, too, if I could move this up a little bit. Woo! Hey! All right, y'all, that is your finished look. So at first, once I did that Mylar stencil, I brought it up here, y'all could see how uh, kind of jaggedy those letters were. All I did was come in and just clean up those lines a little bit, made them a little bit smoother. So I see, you could see that gray on this window here a little bit better today too. Notice I did that gray on the window so that once that Y, the white on the Y came through, you could still read it. Okay, so that was just a little bit of light gray and some light gray mixed with maybe one or two drops of black. And so I had two different tones of gray and that's how we got the window look. So there is that final look for you guys. I'm trying to scoot back as far as I can. This piece is huge. I think it's a 36 by 42 on this one. I wanna say your blank is 23 tall. So your blank is a little smaller. Your blank already has the words on there. You guys don't have to worry about doing the Mylar like I did today. But, uh, you know, for my example that I had, I had to do the Mylar because I didn't have the words on there. So that is the finished look. All this needs now is to dry, and then we can do uh, glitter and poly. So let's see. Debbie says, beautiful. Phaedra, pretty. Love it. Ashley, thank you. Onika, I love this. Thank you, Onika. You guys are so sweet. You know, I just, I absolutely love the buffalo plaid. Once I get, I already have my Christmas tree up, y'all. And yes, it's buffalo plaid. Uh, but once I get my yard decorated this year, because my yard is going to be buffalo plaid as well, I'm going to have to take you guys on a tour around just to kind of see all the buffalo plaid that I've got going on here at my house. I think y'all would love it. So uh, thank y'all so much for coming in and hanging out with me a little bit today. I've just seen I made a boo-boo over here. I hit my S and made a little, I got a little bit of white paint down there. I'm going to have to do a touch up on that. But other than that, that's our fi finished look. That's the final look. I'll get a picture of this posted in the comments once it gets dry as well. So thank y'all so much for being here with me today. You guys are going to be seeing us soon. I know we just released our um, calendar for next month. So we've got new blanks coming out soon and we will be doing some more lives. So set the Zelma and Joyce. Thank y'all so much. Everybody's loving it. I love the Buffalo Plaid. So if you guys attempt it, y'all send us some photos. It's really easy. And another thing is yesterday I had Kathy ask me, why did I use the chip brush on the plaid and not a baby wipe? Because I've showed you guys the baby wipes as well as the chip brush when you're doing plaid. And the only reason that I used a chip brush is because I have um, arthritis, y'all, and it, there's certain things that just really hurt my hands and my arms. And holding a baby wipe really hurts my hands. And so for the sake of arthritis, I used a chip brush. But you can achieve the same look with baby wipes or with the chip brush. It doesn't matter. You can do both. Um, but for me, it's all about comfortability. So, you know, chip brush it was. So thank you guys so much for being here. I'll get a picture posted as soon as that's dry. And then you guys can take a look at it. As always, you'll ask questions and I'll come back and answer them. And I will see you guys soon. Thank y'all. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Bye, everybody.